All right, I'll give you a sound. You want another one? You pay me. Today, um, I've come across accidentally a, how shall I call it, a Q&A website. No, not QAnon. We haven't gone that far yet. It's called Quora's Digest. And how I stumbled upon it is, well, to be fair, I'm not exactly sure. I think signed one peti- the one petition I've ever signed in my life, I signed. And ever since then, I've been getting emails periodically, at least once a week, about someone's issues that I don't really care about. They mostly are incredibly insane. It's like Reddit, but these people have lives, but their lives are like the lives of someone who should be in a institution and not out on the street. And I thought today we'd go through a couple uh, questions and you know, maybe I can give some life advice. I'm very seasoned in this race we call life. As a 20 year old who feels like he's been living for at least 50 years, I think I can offer up some semblance of advice. And if not, I'm gonna read the responses to these because they are also no punches pulled. They go straight into the heart of it and tell them if they're a dumb bitch or not, basically. So I'm keen either way. Do you want to just get into it? So, well, I'll just I'll do the first name. His name's Tom. And his question is, while searching through my teenage son's room, I found a piece of paper with the words error, socks, and lancet written on it and nothing else. What could this mean? I think, you, I think your son's going to commit mass murder. That is what I think. I don't know what these words have in correlation with that, but I believe... Can I have a look at his eyes? Because that's usually how you can tell. This person, however, has a probably a better theory. It says, first off, I would posit... Okay, we get it. You know, big words. Uh, I would like to say... Well, I believe it's just say, right? First off, I would say that it means you should have a bit more respect. See, I... You know what? Sorry, just a quick rant. You know me. I don't usually like to do these things, but... um, People who use big words for no reason, and then they're like, no, I'm quite intellectual. No, just... You were more stupid. He says, yeah, I should, you should have a bit more respect for your son's personal privacy. And personally, I agree. Don't go searching through your child's stuff. That's weird. Why would you do that? You're going to find some things that you might want to find. Not because not for me. If I was searched, I, there's no, nothing that would be found. I just clean pair of undies and a pair of shoes to go and search the world with. That's... That's my, that's all that you'd find in my closets. Teenage years can be a very difficult time in life and tend to be a crucible. Fucking, just use regular person words. In which the identities that we wear as adults begin to solidify and take shape. See, that's why I'm such a funny guy now. Because I turned into one. I wasn't always this funny. I, I was shaped by... I guess you could say society, really. But you should know that the trust between you and your son, once it has been eroded, cannot easily be reforged. What? Do you come from medieval times, man? Speak regular. Speak like a human being, bro. Can we just get to the bit where he talks about these words? Because I'm interested more in that than anything. Based on your discovery of the words error, socks, and lancet in your son's room, I am inclined to believe that he may be, have begun secretly studying Latin behind your back. I don't know why anyone would want to study that stupid language. It's dead for a reason. If you find this difficult to believe, I'll refer you to page 19 of la- Fuck, how long does this go for? Okay, so basically this dickhead's gone into his son's room and he's found that he's learning Latin. This was a waste of my time and yours and his. Actually, now that I think of it, why didn't this fuckwit just look up the words? He's learning Latin. That's all you need to know, Tom. Get a fucking grip. Stop searching your son's room. I'm not a parent. Who gives a fuck? All right, we got this one from Jacob. He's a chief technology officer. Does DHT shampoo work for hair loss? Makes sense he's a chief technology officer. He is going bald. So I don't know what DHT shampoo is. I was about to say does, but I'm gathering it's, it might be for hair loss. I don't, I wouldn't know. I've got a beautiful luscious locks. I will never lose my hair ever. Roll this back in 10 years when I'm completely bald. Nothing on my head, nothing on my face, nothing on my body. A complete mole rat that's gone into the sewers. Make sure you clip that. We're not on Twitch, don't clip that. That's stupid. Absolutely, resoundingly, for me, yes. Okay, well, I 
on and kidding you. It works. So any baldies out there, you use um, DHT shampoo. You might grow some hair back. He's got a big picture of meat being shaved off the bone. What is the most ridiculous thing that you've ever convinced someone to believe? A friend of mine was dating a really pretty girl who had absolutely no common sense. Women, am I right, man? <laughs> All they know how to do is shop, eat chip, charge a day phone. You know what I'm saying, fellas? And women, lesbians. Leave a comment, lesbians. We were all out in a nightclub, and after having too much to drink, oh, I know what that's like. I'm a big, um, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> we made our way to a kebab shop, as you do in the UK. The UK, oh, we made this up with going to a kebab shop after fucking, yeah, we do that in Australia too, all right, so, ugh. We've been around for longer. Oh, yeah, well, at least we didn't enslave people. Um, well, we, at least we didn't invade any countries. Fuck. Yeah, well, at least we're not cold and damp and mouldy like you English people. It's not even a real country, I haven't even been there. It's probably not real. My friend went inside and I stood outside talking to the girl. She's a vegetarian and never eaten at a kebab shop. So she asked what was in it. I thought it'd be funny to tell her it was an elephant's leg. All right, let's see what this daft woman thought. I'm sorry, she pr I mean, she might have been daft, but I don't know if she was a woman. Who knows? She went absolutely berserk. She stormed in the shop and demanded to know what right the shop had to profit off the slaughter of elephants. I'm with her. I'm with her. Hashtag I'm with her. I don't think the hashtags have been used for anything else before, so hashtag I'm with her. Actually, to be fair, going back to that picture, that does look like an elephant's leg. So, to cut a long story short, and thank God you've done that, because every one I've read so far has been... Way too long. And to cut a long story short, we managed to calm her down after everyone had finished laughing. But for three weeks, she wouldn't believe it wasn't an elephant's leg, as she thought we were just trying to make her feel better. So she thought the one comment that you said about the elephant's leg was true, but everyone else saying, no, 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 it's not, it's, we was just joking around. They, she didn't believe them. So she believed the minority. I think the moral of the story here is, the minority is not always right. Don't take that out of context. Am I going to do another one? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to end it right now.